Praise the Lord, friends. You're welcome again to this episode of Family. It's very important to note that from the time when we were last here, we're talking about family roles and responsibilities. We defined family. After defining family, we looked at God's plan, God's ideal plan for family. I also want to remind you that I was with the Reverend himself in the last time that we were here, last time you watched. Having defined family, we talked about God's plan for family, God's ideal plan. And then we mentioned the different types of families that we have. We mentioned the two which were God's plan, and then the others that have come up as a result mm. of sin, as a result of the distortion of God's plan for family. Reverend, yes, you're welcome once again. Thank you very much. It's good to be back here. It's very, very good to see you again. Thank you. Before we start, mm. would you open up with a word of prayer? Yes, let's pray. Lord, we thank you once again for an opportunity to reach out to your children watching us right now. We pray, our Lord, as we continue to discuss this very important topic of family, that you will open our understanding and we may be able to listen from you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen. and amen, and amen. So we <coughs> left at a point where we, we told the viewers that we are going to come back and discuss specific roles mm. of, of parents and specific roles of children in a home. Mm. Now, their children, mm. Mm. their parents, and they're even uh, clergy mm. or pastors that are watching this, and they're thinking, hmm, what are these guys talking about? So let's try to define the boundaries. What are the roles of parents, the roles of children? What are the roles? Mm. <clears throat> I'll start with you. Yes. I'll start with you first and say, um, which are those roles that you think are specific and clearly cut for children? Yes, I think. Uh, from the word go, we are remembering of from where we ended last time, we're saying God created us and put us in families so that we may be able to have, first of all, reverence, obedience to our parents, our father, imaging also the same respect and obedience we should have to God. And so I think oh, just at the word go, mm. obedience, mm. obedience, children are supposed to obey. Uh, and then uh, the parents uh, are supposed to love and uh, provide for the children. Okay, so we have specific roles. <clears throat> we look at children's roles first in a home. Mm. Children's roles in a home. Yes. <clears throat> which, do, which, which are those? Just mention them. If, you, if any of them comes to your mind, which are those roles which you think are the roles of a child in a home? Yes. I think as children in families, one, uh, you have to know that you have been given and trusted with the responsibility to take care. Take care of the home, making sure that the home is well kept, mm -hmm. and you give good care to the things at home there that your parents have. And of course, uh, our daily routines, cleaning, cleaning things, washing things, and all that, you, you have a direct responsibility. That's your role to do as a way of supporting your parents and of course taking care of your your children i mean your your brothers and sisters those who are younger than you we we and of course as as christians to pray praying for your family i think as children in families one of our biggest roles is to pray for our parents i'm wondering those who are watching us how often you take to pray for your parents, to pray for your mother, to pray for your father. Or oh, many times of you course, just complain. Yes, many Daddy times you complain. This. Mom is not buying this, yes. they're not doing this for me, they're not doing yes. this. Is no, and, yes. and, yeah. and yet interestingly, it is your role to pray mm -hmm. for them. Instead of, I remember God rebuked the people of Israel yes. because instead of praying for provision, uh, uh, they were complaining and grumbling against Moses. Moses. Moses, this, Moses, that. And so as children, the other role we have is to pray. And of course, you said they complain all the time. The other yes. all to do is to be mm -hmm. behave, mm -hmm. be well behaved. You listen to what your parents are saying, and you respect them for what what they are to you. And of course, when you obey and respect your parents, you show the same to other people. And so, one other chief role that children have in a family is to show respect to the people in the community, show respect to the neighbors, show respect to everyone else. When the children are doing that role of respecting other people, 
they give a good image of the family. They say, the children of so and so are well behaved. Mm -hmm. The children of so and so are very good. But many times the children yes. feel it's a responsibility of other people yes. to respect. They think it's only other people who should respect. What you're trying to say is it's, a, it's, it's incumbent or it's important for us as children yes. in the home to respect right. other people. Yes, and in fact, like we said the last time we were here, that God has put us as a unit to show his glory. And so when we do all the things, respect, behave well, mm -hmm. we are actually preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. God see, sees us as a family. The people of Israel were supposed to show good conduct mm -hmm. so that other people can see. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us that you should, you, should, you should shine a light so that other people may see your good deeds. There, praise your father in heaven. There are other responsibilities like washing, mm -hmm. cleaning. Those ones I'm sure they know about it. Yes. But you hygiene. mentioned personal, ah, personal hygiene. Mm -hmm. It's uh, okay, you mean it is my responsibility to, yes. to bathe, yes. brush my teeth? Yes. I thought it yes. is mommy to command me to do that. No, it is your personal responsibility. It's a Lay role of responsibility. Bed. Lay your bed, make mm -hmm. sure that your room is clean. And you shouldn't be reminded all the time that wake up, dress up, wake up, brush your teeth comb your hair, cut your nails, trim yourself. You have to know that this is my role to make sure that my room is clean. I am neat, the I am organized, the compound clean. is clean. Personal hygiene is very important to you. And it's your personal role to You mentioned something that. about taking care of property. Mm. We have young people that their parents own property. They own mm -hmm. motorcycles, they own mm -hmm. vehicles, for example, they own bicycles. But when a young man gets a motorcycle, mm. he's riding out and he brings us, he brings back, you know, the way they sit, mm -hmm. they sit with their behinds facing, you know, as if, as if they're about to... They're about to fly off. They're about to fly off, <laughs> and uh, they fall, motorcycle yes. is damaged. Mm -hmm. Then the cost of repairing that item yeah. is left on the parent. Yes. And what would have been used mm. to take them to school, yes. to buy for them books, to mm -hmm. buy for them clothes, the money is yes. diverted. Yes. It's also in those times that if a child gets an accident yeah. out of carelessness, mm -hmm. the money which would have been used for something more constructive is turned yes. onto their care mm -hmm. in a hospital True. to ensure they are well. True. A little True. bit about care. Um, we talked about uh, prayer. Yes. We don't. We have children that don't want to attend family altars. Mm. Their parents yeah. are praying, they don't want to attend, they want to be in their rooms, mm -hmm. in their phones, yes. they want to come back late at night. Ah, talk mm -hmm. about coming back late at night. What do you have to yes. say? You know, when you have been given instructions at home, come back early. Don't come back late. Be home at time. It is first and foremost for your own protection. Mm -hmm. Your parents know that when you are there, you are in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen to you. We have kidnappers. But also in the night, people have low vision. You can be knocked down. You are not protected in the dark of the night. Mm -hmm. That is why you are allowed to go out during the day when it is bright, it is shining. You can see well, people can see you. But the wrong people are also scared of the light. Mm -hmm. And so you are allowed a certain amount of time to be out. The moment it gets late, when they tell you don't come back late, they are saying, be where you are safe. Home is your safe comfort in the mm -hmm. middle of the dark. They are not saying, don't be out. No, they're saying, be here when you are safe from the dark. And so it is for your protection. So it is my role. It is your role. To ensure make sure that I am, in, I am in a safe environment. Yes. yes. Which is usually home. Which is usually home. This cause, and this cause is a safe environment because the mm, security it, personnel. It, it, it is very dangerous because you are first of all in a place which is enclosed. Uh -huh with people you don't know very well. Yes. Out of all the crowd, you might know just about five or three or four people. Some are drinking. Some are drinking. And of course, when they drink, they're not who they are. Uh, yes. And so you are very vulnerable. If you are a girl, you are vulnerable to rape. You are vulnerable to being used. You are vulnerable to so many things. You can even make a right decision in a wrong way. Yes. Like you because can do you it. Can, yes. Then yeah, you say, yes, we, you, yes. And then you, before you know it, you, know you, it, you are, yes. yes. And yeah, then you yeah. start regretting. <laughs> can, I wish I knew. <laughs> so, so it is for true. their own safety. It's for their own safety. You are watching this. Mm -hmm. It is for your own safety. It's your responsibility to be safe. Yes. Don't blame daddy or mommy or uncle or auntie for what happens to you yes. in the dark. Uh -huh. I think that is clear. 
That is Let very us clear. shift the little bit. Let us flip a bit. Yes. Parents. Yes, there parents. There are key roles of parents. Yes. In a home. Yes. We will not mention all of them. Yes. But there are key roles. Yes. You as a priest. Mm. Let's start. Yes. What is the role of a parent in a home from the angle of a priest? Yes. Okay. Now, taking from where we stopped about children coming back home and being their safe environment. Mm -hmm. And then the family now becomes a safe environment for the children. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, I have to make sure that the children are protected. So I give security, I give protection for the children. I think that's first of all the very most important role. And all the children should know that you're safest with family. You should trust your parents more than anything. There is nothing that should happen to you outside which you cannot be free enough to tell your parents. As priests, people come to us and they're venerable to us, ah, this and this happened to me, and they tell us big secrets. Now, you should have the same amount of sincerity and honesty with your parents. So parents, you have the role of protecting, providing protection for your children by loving them, by caring for them, by giving them everything that will secure them. And creating an avenue, creating an avenue for them to yes, trust you. Trust. Because some parents don't have that avenue. Yes. They are so tough, yeah. they are so rough, and they don't give opportunity yes. for the children yes. to open to up. Open up and That's and why be vulnerable the children to open up to other people instead. Yes, true. So true. security. Security is my role. And protection. Yes. And then provision. You provide for their needs. Make sure you've given them school fees. Make sure you've given them food. Make sure you've given them medication when they're sick. Shelter. So, shelter. So provision is very important. Just like the Father in heaven, God, who created us to be in families, provides for us, gives us uh, air to breathe and all these things we need. So also parents have that role to provide for their children. And provision is a big area. Whatever way you think about it, everything you need, provision. There comes but in. also it's good to provide within the means. That within the have. means, yes. But I know we have some children true. that True, that very put true. parents under pressure to provide mm. what is not there. Mm. Yes, uh, I think yes. children also should know that yes. parents, uh, they have a limit. Yes. The other oh. thing that, want, that I, I wanted to talk about is that mm. it's the role of the parent mm. to pray for their children. Mm. A child should pray for the family, yes? Yes. But it's the role of a, a parent also to, to pray, pray for, for the, the children. children. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I remember once seeing something in your post, you were very thankful to your mother for always praying for you, mm -hmm. praying for you. And when I read that, I could hear in your voice how thankful you are for the many prayers you have received. And so as parents, when we pray for our children, we shape them up, we build their confidence protect. and we protect them. We give them a shield around. And of course, like the saying goes, a family that prays together, together stays, stays together. together. And so we should. I I have many mothers, and, and you know, yes. my own mother yes. prays, prayed for me. Yes. Yes. My mother's sister, yes. uh, Aunt Eunice, she could watch this someday, yes. she prayed for me. Yes. Then when I came to the North, yes. I met, uh, I have mothers. Yes. I have uh, Mama Margaret, you, yes. you know Mama Margaret, yes. 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 Uh, this lady <laughs> prayed for me. You, yes. you know, there are times yes. when you're yes. out in the bush yes. there, yes. Yes. you know, time to pray. Yes. I can bear testament to that too, when she was uh, the... The chairperson. The chairperson yes, 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 yes. Uh, she, she still is. <laughs> yes. Then yes, we have yes. Mama Susan Olua, yes. the wife to the bishop. Yeah, These yeah, are our mother they pray for yes, us. Yes, they do. And, and, and mothers, if you're watching this, yes. it's mm. your role yeah, to, pray. to pray for your children. Amen. Yes. Even when they go astray, yes. you never know what mm. prayer mm. you pray, what mm. prayer you say could save them. Yeah. Even cool. when they're out there and don't know what's happening, mm. could save them. Yes. As we bring this to a close. Yes. Disciplining children. Disciplining children. Uh -huh. The Indeed. difference between abuse and discipline. And discipline. Uh, let's yes. talk on that one. Yes. You know, because you have, as a parent, you have the picture of where you want your children to be. Uh, repeat that. Because as a parent, a father, a mother, you know exactly what your children should be. Mm -hmm. You have the full picture in your head mm -hmm. because you've been praying for them. Mm -hmm. You, from the time they were born, they were children, you, you really dreamed big for them. Then every time you see them going astray, mm -hmm. you see them doing things that will not let them reach their full capacity, you step in. Now that's what discipline is. Children, because they don't see the full picture, will see punishment, mm -hmm. will see rebuke. Mm -hmm. 
But for the parents, they're seeing correction because they have the full picture. And so it is our role not to give up because we know what we want of our children. We know and we understand that these children should be this mm -hmm. if they are to do this. Mm -hmm. They will not be this mm -hmm. if they are not to do this. And yes. so you are constantly checking that they are going well and they're moving well. So disciplining helps them to be who they're supposed to be. So discipline is a check. It's a check. It is within the road. Is it also true that their parents, because they do not know where mm -hmm. the children are supposed to be, yes. or where they want their children to be, they abuse the children instead of disciplining? Yes, definitely. There's a wrong way of discipline. You know, because you, 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 you may be, and many times maybe because you are too disappointed in, uh, in how your child is turning up and you, you get frustrated, and then many times it will turn to abuse. Okay. But parents who understand, and of course children who also understand that their parents love them, wish the best for them, will be able to change as soon as they are. Mm. Discipline. Many times when you're disciplined once, you're disciplined twice, and they're not changing, and then it, it, it becomes a routine. And before you know it, because you're doing it over and over again, like some people say, practice makes, makes perfect. perfect. So when every time you are repeating the same thing, it before you turn it... to resist. Yes. <laughs> and so it turns to, 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 to abuse. <laughs> I, 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 yes. I have some things I have written here. Yeah. So I'll just read them out. Yeah. There's a role of the parents mm. to stay together, to stay married. Yes. For the good of Very the children, eh? when you're married, the husband and wife, it's your role. No matter what is happening in the marriage, yes. stay together. Stay together. For the sake of your children. And uh, I think lastly, mm. being a good example. Uh -huh. mm. True. You know, True. we have parents who are very good examples uh, outside. At, yes, but but in the home, they're not good examples. Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, yes, I, I pray no. that uh, these ones who are watching are not those examples. Oh, yes. But also have parents that toil a lot. Yes. They struggle. I think mm. children need to appreciate mm. that when daddy or mommy or uncle, auntie have bought a kilo of meat mm. and they come home. Yes. The other role of a child, it is important to appreciate. Yes. Say, mommy, thank you for paying mm. the school fees. Mm. Daddy, thank you mm. for buying a kilo of meat. Yes. Thank you for buying bread. Yes. Imagine yes. your father for what he did and sent you to school. I think it's worth appreciating them. True, uh -huh. very true. Thank very you true. so much, ladies and gentlemen. One yes. more, just mm. one more that has come to my mind as, as you, you, you were closing. The parents have to bring up their children to know God. So teach them to know God, teach them to fear God, teach them to pray, teaching them to know God. Teaching the children to know God. Yes. It's not the role of the, of the priest the child and should learn from the parents to know God. You see in the book of Genesis, when you look at God's creation story, God never, sorry to say this, but God never created a pastor. A pastor. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. God created, created a father. A father. So and a mother. The priests are helping, the yes. pastor and the priests are helping the pastor. I to mean, do their the, role. The father. <laughs> yes. But most times we abandon the true. role of teaching children to know true. God to the true. priest. True. So it's true. the role of the father true. and the mother yes. to, to teach, teach them the to children know God. to know God. True. Thank you so true. much, ladies and gentlemen, boys yeah. and girls, for yeah. watching today. Catch yes. you next time. Yeah. I hope that this has taught you something about family roles and responsibilities. If you missed the beginning of this one, of this episode, please go back and look through it and watch you will know the foundation of where we started from. I'll ask the Reverend to pray again as we close. Yes, we pray. God, we thank you for our families and we thank you that you have created us man and woman so that we may produce and teach our children to know you. We pray that Lord, the children and families will be able to look to you to protect them, to provide for them as you bestow on their parents to do so. Teach us, Lord, to be good families, children who honor and respect our parents, and parents who provide and care and love their children. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank Till you. next time. Mm. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.